welcome to another video in semis ti portal version 18 before this i have created two videos uh, in the first video i gave you introduction about the semis ti portal version 18 and in the second video i i showed you how you can use use the simulation in ti portal version 18 uh, in ti portal version 18 i have installed the plc sim version 18 so this is uh, quite different as compared to the previous simulation uh, which I have showed in my second video. I will put the link in the description so that you can see uh, that video and the second thing is that if you <clears throat> uh, Want to today I what I going to discuss in this video in the third video that if you how can you use the uh, clock pulse in your TI portal Assume that you want to count the pulses uh, second count or might be you call you have to count the how many seconds has been elapsed until the program has run or if you want to calculate the machine running hours so you can make the uh, counter logic or operation of anything uh, which you which you want to count on every single second okay for this this is my previous project which i created now what do you have to go you have to go to your device configuration in the device configuration you will see the plc which you have used so just double click on this if you if you double click this you will see the uh, properties of plc downside here let me double click again uh, let it make little zoom okay these are this all the basic settings about the plc's or the information that uh, you have a general information number of ios interfacing all the things in that you have to explore these features pulse generator pto slash pwm just extend it you will see here the system and clock memory this one okay. system and clock memory now in system and clock memory if you see if you click this one you will see right side the informations uh, from here you have to enable the clock memory bit okay this one okay this one as you click the enable the use of clock memory byte uh, the default address start from zero means that by enabling this the system reserve the one byte of memory at the address of zero and then it gives you the information that in the byte 0.0, .0 there is a clock uh, clock uh, frequency of 10 hertz 0 0.1 represent 5 hertz 0 0.3 represent 2.5 hertz 0 0.3 represent 2 hertz 0 0.4 represent 1.5 0 0.5 represent 1 hertz and 0 0.6 0 0.6 to 5 hertz and 0 0.7 0 0.5 clock hertz so according to your requirement you can use any memory addresses to count your clock pulses but my uh, intention is to count the second so what i will take i will take the memory address 0 0.5 because this frequency is one hertz every one second it will pulse pulse up and down up and down so it will actually count the pulse okay in this video i am just going to show you how can you how you can use this clock pulse in the next video i will create a running hour meter in ti portal by using this clock pulse okay so after enabling uh, keep in mind you can change this address okay this address could be from 0 to 4095 it depends on the type of the plc it may vary okay i leave it the blank uh, default at zero because just i want to use the simulation but keep in mind that if you are using the address this you this address should not be used uh, anywhere else in the project for another purpose okay and just save this one and come to the your main block ob1 here i already have one simple block which i created in the last video i'm not going to change anything on that network just click here and uh, in order to count the pulses i have to take one counter from here you see counter operation uh, operation ctu count up just double click 
and give the name let's say i give name count the count sorry count the seconds okay count the second just click okay now i want i want this one to count on the basis of the memory which i have reserved in that okay so i, I will use here normally open contact you can use normally open or uh, normally close whatever okay no issue but don't take the positive and negative edge trigger because the pulse also also detect this one positive uh, edges because keep uh, moving positive and uh, high and low high and low now here you select the uh, you select what i have selected i want to use the one second count so i will take this one okay and i can tell him how to count how many count 60 second if you want to reset it by after 50 second you can also make a logic which i told you i will make in the next map program that how can you count the uh, running hours of equipment so for that uh, you must have to reset uh, this counter values and every 60 second i'm not going to do here okay and now you can save this value in any memory location let's say i give mw10 okay and you can give name it uh, like uh, second second count okay just in okay now now the important thing is that how to download and use in the uh, simulator okay first i just save this one and i open my simulator i have discussed these things how to use this simulator uh, here you can also see okay but if you want complete uh, introduction about this simulation how to use you can see my previous video just come here take this one okay and here just click cancel this one start this cpu wait until the cpu start it will be default in stop mode i will have to put it on the run mode later okay now instance once this cpu as 7 of 1200 this is the default ip address it is now in this uh, run mode if uh, sorry is uh, stop mode if it will or if it will be run then it will be green okay now come to here download this project uh, it's giving some instruction i have discussed this thing in the previous video just click connect just load now start module after downloading to device okay just select this one start module and then finish now your, your simulator is on the run mode okay now come here and make it check it online let's see this is counting okay uh, because uh, you see the value is already uh, increased from 20 i think because last time i used the same memory location that's why in the same counter so that's why it's counting from that values 77 37 38 39 40 41 okay so in this way you can count your second and save the memory location and then perform any another operation on that time so i just say this will not be reset because i did not use it but if you want to use it you can use the reset button okay now after 16 it will give the pulse output high and it's keep going 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 to 60 because it was not reset so this is important to make any uh, R meter logic in your PLC uh, for machine running R to much count the ma machine running R to count the number of pulses and many other things application in CAD be used. Hope you liked the video. If you if you have not subscribed so far, so please don't forget to subscribe so that I will upload the uh, new video, new feature of TIA portal. Till next video, take. 
वेरी गुड केयर योर सेल्फ टेक केयर एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़